In this lesson, we'll look at four examples of determining the end behavior of a function from the graph of a function. There are two types of end behavior for a function. There's right-hand end behavior and left-hand end behavior. Right-hand end behavior describes what y value or function value the graph is approaching as x increases without bound or approaches positive infinity. So for right-hand behavior, x is always approaching positive infinity or we could think of x as moving to the right. Left-hand end behavior describes the y value or function via the graph is approaching as x decreases without bound and approaches a negative infinity. Meaning x is moving to the left. Sometimes you'll see a plus sign in front of the infinity for a positive infinity, but it's not required. And now for a quick review, recall for the horizontal or x-axis, positive infinity is to the right, negative infinity is to the left, and for the vertical or y-axis, positive infinity is up, and negative infinity is down. And now let's determine the right-hand behavior for this first function. As x approaches infinity, we can think of moving to the right along the function, as we move right along the function, notice the graph goes down indefinitely, which indicates the function values or y values decrease without bound and approach negative infinity. The right-hand behavior is, as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity. For the left-hand behavior, x approaches negative infinity, or we can think of moving left along the function, as we move left along the function, notice the graph goes up indefinitely, which indicates the y values or function values increase without bound and approach positive infinity. The left-hand behavior is, as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches positive infinity. And now for the second example, let's first determine the right-hand behavior, which is when x approaches infinity or moving right along the function. As we move right along the function, notice the graph goes down indefinitely, which indicates the y values or function values decrease without bound and approach negative infinity. The right-hand behavior is, as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity. And now for the left-hand behavior, x is approaching negative infinity. So now we can think of moving left along the function. As we move left along the function, notice the graph levels off we can see the y values or function values are approaching positive five, which indicates the left-hand behavior is, as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches five. Let's look at two more examples. Again, for the right-hand behavior, x is always approaching positive infinity. And for left-hand behavior, x is always approaching negative infinity. For the graph on the left, for the right-hand behavior, as x approaches infinity, x is increasing without bound, and we can think of moving right along the function. As we move right, notice the graph goes up indefinitely, which indicates the y values or function values increase without bound and approach positive infinity. The right-hand behavior is, as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches infinity. When we say infinity, we always mean positive infinity. For the left-hand behavior, as x approaches negative infinity, we're moving left along the graph. As we move left along the graph, we can see the y values or function values are approaching zero. The left-hand behavior is, as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches zero. And for the last example, for the right-hand behavior, x is approaching infinity, or we are moving right along the function. As we move to the right, notice the graph goes up indefinitely, which indicates the y values or function values are approaching positive infinity. The right-hand behavior is, as x approaches positive infinity, f of x approaches positive infinity. And then finally for the left-hand behavior, x is approaching negative infinity, or we can think of moving left along the function, as we move to the left, the graph goes down indefinitely, which indicates the y values or function values are decreasing without bound and approaching negative infinity. 
the left hand behavior is as x approaches and negative infinity, f of x approaches and negative infinity. I hope you found this helpful.